Hello, my name is Gisela Fatima Gutierrez. I am from New Mexico in the United States, but my family is also from Mexico, so I identify as Mexican American. I go to school in St. Olaf College in Minnesota, around 45 minutes away from the Twin Cities. And I go to school, I'm abroad here in Sevilla, um, Spain. And I guess we'll start how I chose this program. So my university, St. Olaf, offers a variety of programs in Spain, um, but I decided to choose the liberal arts program with CIEE. Um, first, because I really wanted to be in the Andalusia region of Spain. Um, I had been in Spain before in the past, in Madrid and Barcelona, and I wanted to experience a new type of Spanish culture. And I decided that um, Sevilla was the best place for me. Okay, getting here during times of COVID. It was an interesting <laughs> experience. So as we all know, COVID has impacted many aspects of our lives, so it as well has impacted the visa process. Thankfully for me, I did not have to get a new passport, but I did have to apply um, for a visa through the Spanish consulate, as you have to do whenever you study abroad anywhere. Um, but because I am in Spain for a full year, I had to get uh, special documents uh, that will allow me to be here for a year. Um, so Spain during COVID, or more likely Sevilla during COVID, is not as dramatic as some people have made it seem. Um, if you think about it, it's really basically the same in the US, but life has basically gone around the same with, of course, the precautions that are needed to keep everyone safely. Um, if you talk to most people, most people are vaccinated, which is a great thing. It makes you feel safe to walk around. But universities, classes, schools are all back in session with masks, of course. Um, but thankfully, since I've been here, I've been able to do everything that I wanted. Um, there are still some restrictions. Um, friends from the program cannot enter our houses because of COVID. Um, you know, in classes we do have to wear masks, but when it comes to, you know, going out, getting food, stuff like that, it is very accessible to us. Um, if I want to go get dinner with my friends one night, very easy, not hard to do. Almost everything is open, museums are open, um, most activities are back to normal. Tourists from within Europe are like coming to Spain with, of course, like I said, the safety precautions that are needed. But life has basically gone back to the you know new normal that we have been accustomed to for the past, I guess, almost a year and a half, two years. Um, and my experience here hasn't really been impacted by COVID. I've been able to travel within the Andalusia region. I've been, play, been to like Malaga, I've been to Cordoba, Nerja, I've even been able to travel to you know other places, Madrid. Um, so, you know, there are those safety precautions that you need to take, but I'm still able to travel and I have, you know, that study abroad experience that everyone tells you about. Um, and I feel, you know, if you had told me a year ago that it would have been like this, I wouldn't have believed it, but I'm pretty sure I'm having experience that most people had before COVID and in a way, I kind of feel safer being in Spain right now just because, you know, people are a little more safe than usual. Some places aren't as busy as like they normally would be because, you know, there are less tourists. Um, there are like less people due to like, you know, the precautions that need to be taken. Um, but my, my like past like month and a half that I've been here, it's been amazing. And I have, I don't know, I would not, trade anything for it.